somewhere between the awful Suicide Squad and the excellent Wonder Woman, a new DC movie will get it sorted down the middle. But when the best comic book characters ever unite for a film that's just okay, you blew it! Again! Ah! How does this keep happening? Justice League In the midst of a production beset by tragedy, Warner Brothers bravely forged ahead so executives could keep their bonuses, mixing Zack Snyder's trademark gloom with the optimism of Joss Whedon and the priorities of Brett Ratner's production company. Oof, you're gorgeous. That results in its own signature blend of orange, lots and lots of orange. Man, I wish they released the Snyder Cut. Also, man, I wish the Snyder Cut wasn't a made-up fanboy pipe dream. Witness a film that looks like it's being rendered right before your eyes, where this CGI villain steals the CGI boxes from their CGI hiding places, uniting the CGI heroes in a big CGI fight on a CGI battlefield until the CGI hero merges with the CGI box, while the CGI villain gets punched in the mouth by the hero with a mouth made out of CGI. Yes, ma'am. Ugh, that just looks wrong. Meet the Justice League, a bunch of sad losers. I want to be left alone. If you stay up here brooding and processing, well, I wouldn't count on the tribes of men. I need friends. Who occasionally make jokes now. Dostoevsky! There's Wonder Woman, the three-dimensional hero turned into girl hung up on her ex. I lost someone I loved. I once knew a man who would have loved to fly it. When it's your fault, they're all Steve Trevor. Brosidon, king of the Brosian. My man! Cyborg, who's there. Booyah. Spider-Man, who in this movie goes by the Flash. Superman, and... God, the mouth is so distracting. Poor Henry Cavill worked out for months for this role, but all I can look at is his weird fake baby mouth. They really couldn't just shave his mustache? Or grow a beard? Or, you know, delay the movie? <laughs> and of course, the Batman. He may not be that tough. <sighs> Ugh. Or that smart. So your genius move is dying. Or that careful with his secret identity. Dressed like a bat. You're out of your mind, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. You the Batman? That's a bat signal. That's your. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That's your signal. But. Wait, there's no but? That's a shame. He was the best part of the last one. Prepare for the arrival of Steppenwolf, DC's scariest horn-helmeted minor god villain with a giant bladed weapon since the movie right before this one. He's got a generic look, a generic motivation. He lived only to conquer. And super generic dialogue. Find the last one. Its power will cleanse this world. You're all too weak to see the truth. I am the end of worlds. But no character since Buster Bluth has ever been this much of a mother lover. Mother, I know mother. Praise to the mother. I see mother. What the hell is that? These are my words, mother. From Army. How is it possible they ripped off everything from the Avengers except the good villain? Come on, Joss. It's not stealing if you do it from yourself. After all the intricate plotting of Batman v Superman, check out a sequel that says, whoops, never mind, pretending Batman knew Clark Kent for more than 15 minutes. I'm a team needs Clark. Pretending the world didn't hate Superman before he died. So much bitterness. Of course I think it's all because he's gone. And pretending that bizarre Flash nightmare sequence never happened. I mean, that was clearly meant for when this movie was going to be a two-parter, right? So where the Avengers felt like the end of the beginning for the MCU, experience DC's big team-up movie that just kind of feels like the end, where they emptied out their Easter egg cupboard, united all their biggest superheroes, and tried everything they could to make it look like they still cared. You know you can't do this forever. I can barely do it now. It's a shame, too. They were just starting to take some real steps toward heroism. Save one. What? Save one person. Okay, baby steps. Starring a wad of tinfoil scrunched around a laser pointer, Jason Moana, the Dark Night Owl, the DCEU Hunger Games champion, Super Side Eye, the voice of Warner Brothers. We might not have thought this through. Deathpool, I mean, Deadstroke, Smashed Mouth, Spider Car, Spider Car, does whatever a Spider Car does. Oh, Miles Dyson, when will you learn? Mike Pence. I know, mother. Speeder Parker. 
Man, they recast Luther? Yay! Care for a glass of Goudé Diamant? Aww. And not starring. Trailer shots and scenes that weren't in the final movie. Aquaman consumed by water. Cyborg as a human in a letterman jacket. The I didn't think you were real scene. Didn't think you were real. I'm real and it's useful. Cyborg fighting a tank and talking to a cop. You should probably move. Flash fighting a parademon. Cyborg as a human playing football. The original blue color palette in sequence. Bruce looking at holographic Superman. Barry breaking glass. Alfred talking to a mysterious visitor. You said you'd come. And Lois and Clark discussing their engagement. I'll take that as a yes. What? Warner Brothers presents Joss Whedon, Zack Snyder's Justice League, part one of one. So, uh, why does everyone in this movie have super smelling? Fear. I can smell it. The demons must have caught the scent of a mother box. The scent is on you. You could smell a story. You recognize that smell? You smell good. Did I not before? Neato burrito. Dude, my hammer just got nailed. Elon Musk will create Skynet. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disagree? I cheddar the world in a feta cheese. Everybody's looking for Stilton.